So last week, um, what happened? Well, nothing much. You started the the night or the 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 morning very early because you went to sleep early in order to do a long rest. Woke up, uh, had some incident in the tavern, and you discovered lots of the the tavern folk are very well woken up. Almost the same as you guys. Uh, very early in the morning, uh, looks to be sleepy, uh, almost sleepwalking, and seems to be disturbed by a similar dream that you all of you has been encountering. What in the world? <laughs> okay, uh, shadow, 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 want a game of dice? <laughs> Do betting. <Yes. sighs> So as you you went uh, out about, uh, you heard a scream from outside of the gates. Uh, being close to the gates, very close to the gates, is very loud. And all of you decided to went out of the gates to explore and discover what the source of the screams are. And you encountered not only you, but the knights. And the Grand Marsh, the Lord Marshal, is also up and about investigating. As you join them, one of the refugees uh, burst into the camp, uh, screaming, saying that he has been chased and being attacked by some beast. And as you encounter that, Camille. Hello, Camille. Camille joined us. Okay. Hello. Yes, recapping. Okay, as you join, uh, as uh, you join, as he hmm. was recapping what happened, uh, the beast turned out to be werewolves attack you, the knights, and the Lord Marshal. A fight ensues, and valiantly you defended the villages, <coughs> the refugees. Um, supported the Lord Marshal and his knights and defeated about four werewolves well three actually the, the, the fourth one managed to escape upon seeing the comrades who was killed by the might the full might of the midnight hunters the knights and the Lord Marshal all right mm. so that's about it that that was what happened Ah, but one thing uh, interesting, your cop, your warlock, Carl, managed to spike the mind of the escaping werewolf, and through his divin- divination, he managed to track the movement. Okay, the spell only lasted one hour, but it is quite clear the intent and the the single mindedness of the werewolf. Seems to indicate an area named Gillian's Hill that he seems to be going to, even though it is uh, the spell lasted only one hour and the location may take more hours than that. <coughs> we soon join in. So even though the spell, the mind spike spell lasted one hour, the intent that he can divine seems to indicate his trajectory and direction is bent on reaching Gillian's Hill. Ooh, we got witches. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. And then um, after that, that is the the last intent that uh, you can divine from. The mind spike until it dissipates upon the expiry of the spell duration. So, <coughs> after inspecting the corpses, uh, some of them, uh, one of them is quite uh, emaciated, like a, a normal person, like with not enough food to eat. One looks like a fighter built like a fighter one seems to be like also like a fighter but with no markings and well all of them are marked with a bite mark 
not a two fang mark, but seems like a full K9. Yeah, K9 <laughs> something mark. And one is um, mark on the butt cheek. Tiggy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, her key mark on the butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, upon your your intent, you you went back to where you are. You went back to the Daggerford Inn to recover a bit or rest recovery. And as you come in to the the inn, uh, the barkeeper, I mean the innkeeper, Lionel, says that there is a message um, by the Commander Lenever. He wants to see you as soon as you can avail yourself. So that is where we ended last week for the session. Hmm. And everybody ready? Yep. Yep. <coughs> okay. So here we are. You are safely in your rooms as you discuss uh, your next course of action. On one, you have a quite a hot trail of the direction and intent of the, the werewolf that was marked by Carl. On the other hand, the message from the commander is quite clear that he wants to see you as you as soon as you can avail yourself. And the time now seems to be around <coughs> four in the morning. Oh, all right. Yes. So, so I'm yeah. guessing we, uh, most of us have already taken a short rest and went yes. to bed. Yeah. I don't think we sleep on a short rest. We just resting and patching up our wounds. I mean, it's technically we can sleep. Nobody's yep. stopping us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, again, a short rest is four hours or one hour. One hour. One. All right. All right, so let's see. Mm, okay, so uh, upon having the short rest, having a quick nap and whatnot, um, I take a look, see around the room. Who's who's napping? Who's doing nothing much? Ooh, nice. Nice. <coughs> well, it's up to the players sitting, over who's doing what. I'm just sitting on the top. Bang bed. Okay, so, uh, okay, you're sitting top down bed. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, Chen Chen is napping, or meditating. Uh, okay. Okay, so Carl is sleeping. So right. Um, I take a look around and talk to the guys who's um woken up. Okay, guys, we got two things to do. Uh, we need to see Lenever for whatever he wants to do, and we need to go to Neeps for that caravan plan. I think Carl can talk to Neeps. Oh. We can check yeah. on Lenover oh. what he wants. Hmm. All right. So, um, should we take uh go in pairs? Sure. Why not? It's much more easier and faster for us. Yeah. No, don't go in pairs. We will stick as a party. That means <laughs> we're gonna go st- into the stores. That means we're gonna take too much time, and your spell only lasts for an hour, isn't it? It's already ended. Yep, it's already ended. <laughs> yep. So more than more. last we know is that he's heading to, um, Jillian Hill. Yeah, Jillian Hill. So we kind of have to go. ASAP and uh, you know what Carl you don't want to split the party no I think it's I think it's fine it's not it's not like they are going anywhere it's you been, his, think yeah it's, well yeah I guess so because right. the, uh, the the signature ends at Gideon Hill right he he stopped at Gideon Hill it's not the signature it is the intent that you can divine because of uh, werewolf signal <laughs> wideness because uh, as far as you know, 
the last time Gideon's Hill that you, when you went to the farmstead, uh, it took the I had Liam's hole. It took about a day to go to Gideon's Hill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then again, the single you can divine from your spell, your 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 mind spike, <coughs> the single mindedness of the werewolf is just visioning about the the hills, and you can divine that it is something called like Gideon's Hill. No, the yeah. door is closed. I closed it last session before I went up to the palm bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh. we basically, yeah, it seems to be the hideout is there. So either way, if it, it's not too long for us to go from Lanivers to meet Eeps, it's not too long. And it's very important to let Lanivers know our plan. Maybe he has something to help us well. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the plan. Um, we're going to talk to him and find out what he wants and tell him what, uh, report back to him what we discovered. Uh, do you think it's up at 4 a.m.? The messenger wants us to see him as soon as possible, right? Uh, I think he should be up. Okay. All right, uh, let's bang guys... on his door and head in. Okay. You guys need time right. to, to charge your spell slots. <laughs> uh, uh, before I head out, uh, before I head out, I go to Lionel and ask for a happy meal. Let's go for happy, happy meal. meal. Happy meal. Okay, going back there. Happy meal. Anyone get one happy meal and tap out some more, just in case. Okay, rations. You have your rations. I still have my rations. I won't need any happy meals. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. It comes with so... a free toy. <laughs> uh, so, something mystical is looking my way. The door is closed. You have to open it first, lah. Um. <laughs> How does one open this thing you call a door? <laughs> does that look like Kazam? I walk in front of the door and turn on the knob and open it like a normal All right. Okay, there you go. Hey, and then the door opens. <laughs> hey, it works. The door opens. Damn. <laughs> okay, there's no yeah. incantation like Yang Ing Song, Mata Kaji, Sumar Biseng <laughs> needed to open uh, the door. It's a normal door. All right. It's only controlled by the GM. You, have to, <laughs> you just have to you use your, your hand to open it. <laughs> I'm using the power of my mind. What, what happens if there's actually a secret door? And then there's another path underneath the door. I don't know. Hey, like, you know, uh, I'll have a happy meal, please. Me too. One more happy meal and one for Tapao. <coughs> oh. Hey, you know what? Yeah, uh, uh, well, coming right up. But do you notice that everybody seems to be awake? And it's more crowded tonight, today? Yeah, I do. Well, yeah. This, this early yeah. Well, what happened, huh? Well, one thing. There is a shortage of lamps, uh, oil. So they just use candles at home. And word is, some homes uh, were burned last night. Uh, I do not know. Maybe it's accidental burning from the candle lights. And some, I think they were they just are cheap skates. They want to to conserve their oil, so they spend their their time here. <laughs> Those cheap skates. Ask them to buy a meal. Uh, yeah, they did buy a meal, but mm. then, well. Business is good, but I think I'm running out of candles and, and lamp oil myself. Ah, then, you know what? Firewood. Firewood, firewood. Oh, hey, really? uh, Lionel, who's the guy at the back? Ooh. Which guy? There's a lot of guys. It's crowded. The one with the hood. Way back. Oh. No idea. He just comes in. And then he kept to himself. Did he order a meal? I think so. I think he ordered a tankard of ale. Hmm. Alright. But anywho, um, I'll, I'll just wait on the happy meal. Uh, with that, okay. I uh... take a look see at Shadow. And uh, tell him that there's someone... 
at the back of the room. And Shadow's response is... I see that, but I did my perception on trying to figure out how is everyone else doing, but I got nothing. Everyone is normal. Oh, no, I, I just tell you, so you just notice it. Yeah, yeah I just noticed it. I did want to check on how's like ever reaction or like demeanor <coughs> in this morning, but I saw nothing. Just normal because people waking up early. Mm. The crowd is gathering into the the tavern. I think maybe it's a combination of the crowd that never left and some who just came in to have their breakfast and things like that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do you think that guy back there is dangerous? As I talk to Carl. Hmm. Hmm. How about you have a drink with the guy? You know, have a little chat with him. Hmm. You know, woman, to, woman, to, woman is uh, more approachable to <clears throat> guys. Probably. We... All right. Um, I'll give it a shot. And with that, I'm going to head to the person at the back. So I'm moving slowly, moving slowly. And surprise, there's a monk. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, surprise, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to try and see if there's anything dangerous about him, any weapons and so on. So, perception roll. Yeah. Well, so, f so far, he he seems to be, well, nothing that stands out other than he is uh, hooded and cowled. But then again, so is Shadow. Yep. I'm the one who's double hooded. <laughs> yeah, double hooded and cowled. Mm, all right. It seems like uh, uh, maybe he, the, the room is full of adventurers. <laughs> So he may be one of them. Alright, so I'll head in closer. Does he notice me? Does this person notice me or anything? How's his demeanor? He seems to be holding a his ale and seems to be facing towards the wall, towards the corner. Alright, I take out a copper piece. Intent. Yeah. I take out a copper piece and uh, do the coin trick, you know, the uh, play with your, play with the coin thing. Performance. Oh, I <laughs> uh, just, just put it in my hand, I just do it. And then I go closer, and I sit next to him and say, Hey there, I can't help, uh, but notice that you're sitting alone. Seems to be quiet. Are you an adventurer? He just he did not move his head to even acknowledge, and then in in, in you can sense a voice. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have any money. But what I do have are very particular set of skills. Skills that I have acquired over a long career. Levy B. Hmm. That is oddly specific. <laughs> hmm. Feels like Camille's new character. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Um. He says that. I... And... As uh, as as you guys were talking, I bring two beers. And I, say, I am heading out. Bye. Your beers, uh, courtesy of this young lady. The young lady, the beer you ordered for this young man. I know. <laughs> oh, go, go away. Oh well. Oh, you want to, oh, you want to try my luck? Your luck with me. Do you do you gamble? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm all in. I'm all in. Yeah, my friend there is, is very good at gambling, you know. 
<laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you just point out the whole party to the room? Why don't you? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys going out? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you got ditched my address. <laughs> oh man, what a party. I'm still waiting for that happy meal. Yeah, I'm just waiting outside. Yeah. You you have a vague feeling. You have no idea why. But if Camille is here, he might have some recollection of this of that, that line. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I think the rest of you also have that. Penakudul, penakud dengar dari pergi mana ya? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But I do have a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Damn you, know. <laughs> So yeah, um. And you want to t- to tell him good luck? Who I'm off like that's that's Carl's job now like he's the one that give him beer I'm just away. <laughs> you want to tell you good luck? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> My token already out. Shadow and run away. Enjoy your beer, sir. So yeah. Um, enjoy, your, enjoy your beer, sir. <laughs> uh, so Eddie, um, I I. I Take my happy meal and tell uh, Lionel that um, take it off my tab that um, that I have. Okay. All right. Have so, good ones. Yeah, you too. And then that's my meal for the day. Yes. <laughs> From diet, huh? Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, where shall we go? Well, I so you are going to Lenovo's, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Lenovo is usually about 40 minutes. So going there will take about 40 minutes. And some of your disruption or distraction, as in trying to disturb the stranger, uh, it's about like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, about that time. So, 50 more minutes less, then? Yeah, about that. So, roughly, roughly lah, it's about 5 a.m. When yeah, yeah, yeah. you arrive at Greenfield and the barracks. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, as we head in, uh, take a look here around. Is the desk sergeant up? Yep, everyone seems to be up oh. very early in the morning. But the desk sergeant seems to be very alert. You, have, you see bags under his eyes as if he has not been uh, sleeping well. Where you know he's not supposed to be sleeping on the job. Mm-hmm. Alright. Is Commander Lenovit in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Commander, Commander is in. You seem a bit tired. Did you get any rest? Bad dreams. You know what? They say sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disappear? But I didn't have any sweet dreams last night. If Bad you dreams. don't mind me asking, what kind of dreams did you had? Uh, nothing of sorts. Weird dreams. Just some something seems to be well. It's just like two person, one staring at at another. Uh, Go with blue, blue hairs. How do you know? You're not the first person to tell oh. me that. Hmm. Yeah, but but the the person that disturbs me the most is the the pale man behind the the the, the girl. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, as I say, it's just a dream, and dreams can't hurt you. So they all say, mm-hmm. but it can rob you of sleep. That is true. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> uh, but anywho, um, uh, we're gonna go see Commander Lenever. We had a message sent to us about meeting him as soon as possible. Oh, okay. Uh, I think he was up and about. He started co- shouting orders early in the morning. Oh, earlier than usual. Mm-hmm. I see. So, go on up. All right, we'll do. Have a good day, or have a try to get a good rest. <sighs> see you. Mm. 
All right, so <laughs> we, we head up and knock on the door. Enter. Uh, we open the door and yes, we see... What do we see? You see uh, the commander fully dressed. As if he has been working on putting his full armor for the past hour or so. Mm-hmm. He's very alert, very attentive, and he's standing. Mm. Is the ah. room messy? Well, is is some something is does it, well usually is tidy. Uh, there is something about seems to be disturbed a bit, but. It's, it's not as disturbed like like as in burglarized or something like that but it's just that the papers are a bit more on the table and seems to be strewn about more untidier than usual because you have seen him for about a mu- more than a month you have not seen so many papers that <coughs> is untidy on his desk mm, all right so i greet him good morning uh, we uh, we got a message. So, is there anything in particular? The midnight hunters, or shall I shall I call you soon? The the waters of the city. Oh, that's that's nice. But I think the midnight hunter would be uh, nicer. Well, well, I managed to secure some concessions for you. Mm. Well, regarding your request for uh, some piece of land to do some farming, I presented to the Duchess and the council, and they seem to like the idea. Yeah. Mm. All right. And have to manage to secure a title that can be leased for now. If you are still interested in that plan mm-hmm. um, um as this yeah. conversation is happening i take a look see at carl and see what he has to say <laughs> no he's here he's here yeah yeah he's, i'm eating that's right commander that, that would be really 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 great yeah, but unfortunately, the, the the available piece of land is just outside the gate. Uh, if you don't mind, which which gate? Uh, it's near the port. It, well, it's a bit south of the port. Mm. Yeah. There's a there's a fishing villages there, and that's one of the piece of land that the city owns that can be released to you for now if you are interested in that. Around the shed, uh, around the shadow, a uh, shallow malt, malt, malt. Yeah, uh, around it. Mm, all right. Well, Carl, that's your plan. So, um, uh, good yeah, luck I on that. It's, I worth, yeah, I think it's worth a try. And oh, oh, one, one more thing. The the city has also agreed to give you about twenty gold piece a month for now. Oh. In in your as a service, I think gold piece each. No, <laughs> sorry. Uh, right now we can only spare twenty gold piece uh, to the the whole group. Uh, I mean that's okay for now, uh, but on pressing matters, um, we went outside the gate earlier today, and Ooh. we got into a scuffle with. Some troublemakers outside. Outside, is it near the port? No. Last time you we had some trouble at the port. Is it still at the port? No. The, uh, the caravan grounds. Caravan grounds. Yeah. Um. And long story short, um, we ran into werewolves. I will also say. Yeah. Um, you can uh, get uh, confirmation from the 
give me a second to remember the person's name. Marshall. Oh, yes, the Marshal. Yes. Uh, you can get confirmation from the Marshal and his knights. Um, they were four werewolves. Three were dealt with, while one was uh, one escaped. But uh, Carl here managed to track, um, uh, put a tracker on it. Huh? Kind of a tracking what spell. Of, what manner of magic are you talking about tracking? I don't know. Uh, ask Carl. That's his spell. It's a psychic. Psychic magic. Psychic. As in the psychic number 1-800. C-A-L-L-M-E. <laughs> oh, man. Something like that. one 800 2 pi 2 pi. It enables me to divine... No, like a... Track my foe and divine's intent. Mm. Wow, pretty That's useful. Very yeah, I guess so. And so, uh, are, are, are any of the refugees harmed? Some. Um, I think there was one or two. Technically, just one, and he was chased by the werewolf into camp. Um, we did a once over, and we see him not harm or get, got bitten. Um, here's the thing. Uh, we check the bodies, and this is the most um, worrying part. Um, uh, one out of the what is it? One out of the two was anemic. He he seems to be a refugee. Um, bite mark on his arm, uh, but uh, one of the knights kind of took his head. So yeah, not, nothing much to. So you're saying he lost his head? Then. Yes. So basically, we can't really do much in terms of identification. Uh, the other two were built like fighters. Um, one had a bite on his shoulder, and the other one had a bite on his butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. Nasty business. Yes. Um, other than that, um, I, I got a sketch of his. Uh, I, I got a sketch of one of the um, fighters' face. I, and I produce a sketch and hand it over to the neighbor. And the other had a perfect on his butt cheeks. Um, if you don't mind, can you ask around about um, fighters who or, or adventurers who are described in such a way? As you were further describing, you saw the commander intently looking at the, your drawing. It's a rough drawing, but it's still uh, legible and identifiable potentially. And the commander is looking. What? What? What is the other mark you're saying? Um, a birthmark on the butt cheek of the other body. Wow, you are really thorough in your investigation <laughs> or inspection. Well, I think that one I had help from Chen Chen Chen. So yeah. Um. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's that's the only thing that I think we should try and look because we got no idea where they might have been, and okay. if we manage to narrow it down, we can have an idea of where they are, where they were attacked. Another thing, Commander, yes. this pack of werewolf would be called as what again? I can put Yo Goro Goroi Goro. Goro. Goro, mm -hmm. yeah, Goro, meaning that they would have an alpha. So it would be mindful that someone is trying to make an army of a werewolf or it seems so like that. Oh, I just remember something. Uh, the other day, I, I think it's still, no, yesterday, uh, we went to the sewers. And we saw some big giant alligators and whatnot. And there were some people down there that... We did report this. Oh, okay, cool. J just forgetting because uh, we think that they could be infected with the vampirism. So, yeah, we got vampires, we got werewolves, then we got the undead. Man, this is just another horror movie. The horror is something that we have to care of. 
I have all these troubles all around. And there's a competitor Lord Marshal there, just outside the gates. Eh, true, but at least he'll be taking care of the outside, so that's a positive. Yeah, and they want to make him a, a council member to... That fast? Really? No idea. Favoritism. You say vampirism, <laughs> I say favoritism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the same thing, though, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, you, we got a note that you said that you wanted to see us. Um, what is it about? Yeah, well, I, I'll just say about that that piece of land that that ah. can be made available if you want. And then second is about the the offer to of payment for twenty gold a month right now until we can secure more income for the for the town. I think we can increase that over time. Mm, all it, is, right. it is in service as a warden. That's, that's great. Yeah. Um. That's that's good. That's good. Uh. So also mm. also if he looks at, at Chen Chen and Kong, if <coughs> your scheme bears fruit, uh, scheme. the city will gladly uh, facilitate your trade, and we can TV up. We can discuss on the the profit if it is possible, okay. because there will be costs associated to exporting or providing the thing and the the food. We will cover that first. Then, if there is profit to be made later, well, at least this is what the 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 traders guild are saying. Hmm. Commander Naniba, are you familiar with dips? Nips? Nips, yep. Yeah, um half of half the size of me. Mm. Pretty see. annoying. Oh see, trustworthy. Well so far he's annoyingly persistent, but so far and there's no complaints on him yet. Mm. He's oh. the the head of the traders guild that has been annoying me a lot more. Well you see he he, he gave me some seeds. And the proposal was that if those seats uh, turns out to be working, we will let him handle the uh, be our middleman yes, for the trade. Well, the business is up to you. The arrangement is also up to you. But one thing that, well, I can say that I'm not that trader. I can talk about the strategy of war and the arrangement of the guards. But yeah. that, 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 but there are other other people that you have to be mindful of this town, especially Trader Denaris. <laughs> yep, yep. We, I think we met him before. Not mm-hmm. a pleasant guy. Yeah, he, you know, he he, there came late late last night demanding for us to open up the reserve supply of oil to the to the rich quarters and, uh, well that's what I see oh <clears throat> speaking of which Commander Ladiba I heard that Jilin's Hill has a has a supply of oil there right well the, the usually the the supply of tar huh? that was later distilled into oil is sourced from Jilin's Hill and later, there is uh, another fortress called Combs Hole that was the the industrial city to distill the tar refined into oil. Hmm. Is Combs Hill been taken over or it's still operational? It's still operational. Okay. So, we, oh. uh, we might have a plan you see, because uh, we would like to help the marshal to track down these werewolves. So we are planning to have a small merchant convoy going to Jiden Hill in the pretext, in the pretense of uh, obtaining oil for the town. Okay. Yes, and uh, yeah, and we actually got this idea from uh, Nips. Who actually told us about this? 
uh, about how about how Jidum Seal is actually a spoil supplier for the town. So yeah, I think it's I think this is an interesting proposal. What do you think, Commander Dinamo? You see him thinking about it for a bit. Sim check. Well, <coughs> we do we do need the supply of oil restored. Curse that that person who started using and weaponizing the oil. <coughs> <laughs> I, I, I look at our lady friend there. It's like, hmm, wonder who. Eh? And <laughs> I don't know. He does. He he's so. Uh, the commander is in so intent in his thought about your strategy. He did not notice your <clears throat> uh, and looking at <laughs> Leona. Yes, okay. He's just keeps muttering. <sighs> The supply of oil has to be restored. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the, yeah. the last batch that we had, I think about what, 20 barrels or 30 barrels? I think that's the last one. Yes, we do need to to restore back the supply. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to Neeps, but uh, just, just, just in case, do you know where we can get empty barrels? I think usually it's at the ports. Oh, Most no. of the empty barrels were, were well. Wow, well, there's lots of use for the barrels. Uh, it was used to store the food supply, fishes. What kind of barrels are you looking for? Well, barrels that can store oil, I guess. Oh, they would supply them at the location, right? Yep, I don't think we just need a caravan to hire us out. Yeah, uh, the marshal, marshal will give give it to us. That we do not know. Yeah. Uh, usually, the usually the the empty barrels was uh shipped back through the caravan route to to wherever it came from. I'm not that private into this day to day operation of the city for in terms of commerce and logistics. I oh, know I... what we need and what to use. Okay. I, if it's okay, I guess we'll just uh, you know, if we need barrels, we'll just go to the port town, the port, and get some. I guess. Nah, well, I, I usually, think we'll... usually, usually the barrels come with the oil. You don't. That's logic, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think we can manage. Like, uh, we we they'll have barrels of oil to transport, um, to for us to transport stuff. How how would you do business, right? If you don't have them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's what Nick's have to do. Oh, there are also uh, outbreaks of, of house fires. Oh shit, where? In the, yeah. in the rich quarters? Please tell me it's in the rich quarters. No, it's well, not. most of it in the poor quarters, but Ash. there's one or two at the rich quarters also. Ah. I, mean, I would call it the rich quarters. It's near the fields lane. Fields lane, <laughs> the, those rich pastures. Yeah, the, the, the curtains curtain caught fire yeah. with the when they started using the candle and don't really care about them but the poor quarters um it's how sad. what happened yeah i think there are some casualties i think they it's in the middle of winter they start burning candles or maybe something caught fire in the bale of hay that they use as beds mm. unfortunate incidents yes. usually we use the, they, they use the lamp oil and lamp so it is in in a close lantern, but for this they started using whatever is available in order to keep warm. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Um. That's um, very. That's very unfortunate. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Uh, is there a possibility of arson or? No idea. Well, it seems to originate from the inside of the of of the house in the foil, and. Mm. Also, there are cases of they, they started using charcoal to warm themselves, mm. and I think they just turned pink. Mm. Yeah. What? Pink charcoal? No, the body turned pink when oh. we found them. Wait, and this is in the poor quarters? Yeah. Did they not go undead? No idea. Oh man. Hmm. That's... Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think 
luckily we managed to to find them when some one of the the kid started crying hmm. so we, we my man went into the house and saw the parents inside all right um, they were not breathing anymore well, the child is is barely crying all right um, any bite mark or wounds could be found on them no i think it is maybe it's the charcoal emanated something that that caused their breathing to stop oh suffocation that's yeah. not normal oh yeah. we need to we i need i to think something that. like one of the men says it's carbon monoxide poisoning hmm. i have no idea what that thing wow. is wow <laughs> yeah so basically they have no they have no fireplace to burn their charcoal and then i have no idea what 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 that guy is talking about mm-hmm. I see. All right, all right. so basically they got Oral fixation, then. Oral? Nothing. Uh, but anyway, um, we we have to put that on the back burner for a bit. Right now, we need to hit to Gillian's Hill, and also, yeah, we we need to do that first before anything else. Um, werewolf and whatnot, kind of need to snuff it out. Okay, what do you need? Um, for now, um, is it wait equipment? Kind of, yeah. But um, the marshal said that he'll provide us with a wagon. But usually, the marshal's wagon are labeled for military use. So we want something that's inconspicuous to make us blend in with merchants. <laughs> so we're thinking about asking Neeps to join us on this escapade or any other merchant that you can recommend to be honest well since you seem to have dealings with Neeps I don't see why not to continue that dealings alright so we'll uh, we, we'll try and get him so besides the caravan um, I think guess supplies if we really need to uh, do you guys any do you guys need any supplies uh do you guys have bow strings <laughs> i don't need anything yeah do you guys get your bow strings oh, yeah i did <laughs> chen 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 no, i, 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 I got one way it's okay yeah but we should get some extra you know just in case, I, I, I think Luna got some extra. I, 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 I don't use bows. So, so yep. <laughs> we, we magic user does not need any ranged weapons. <coughs> we are the ranged weapon. Yep, until your spell slots get oh, eaten up. <laughs> not if you have Eldritch Blast. Not Join if you have trips. <laughs> Join mm. the Axis Cup today. No, thank you. Uh, but anywho, um, I, I guess that's about then, it. Uh, Chen... The commander was looking at you and discussing both things in front of him with a bit of annoyance, as you can see. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I guess that's about it. Um, nothing, nothing more. Nothing more. Maybe. Uh, oh, the um, commander su- sure? no, maybe your commander can supply us some men. Or mm-hmm. like... we, we don't really need to add in more attention to us. Um, the ah, marshal, speak, the marshal already supplied us do with. You, do you, do you know of any uh, uh, how's it this uh, a potion of anti werewolf serum? Serum anti werewolf. Potion of anti werewolf. Mm. <sighs> I've never even heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think they, can, I think they sell it next to the potion of anti vampirism syndrome near the store. Where you can buy the anti zombie verification. You can ask the the high priest. Yep. If, uh, you mean Boris? Where well, well, verification is a curse, not a thing that we can just simply treat it with potions. Yeah, but werewolf. Hmm. Yeah, we no. just need silver. That's all. All right. All right. Let's let's hope our <clears throat> our healer here has step spell. <laughs> But anyway, oh, um, with with that, I I guess we are we good. Yeah, we good, we good. All right. Um, Hello. Uh, you sure you don't need any of my men to accompany you? 
um, we, we're trying to keep the uh, we're trying to uh, keep a low profile and the marshal already supplied us with two of his knights and they'll be riding in the wagon because we don't want to draw attention so yeah less attention would be good for this I mean if you insist on us having more I don't mind are you saying my man is not good enough for you as compared to <laughs> Lord Marshall's man? Nah, that is, we just that's want... not it, but we do know this. We do understand that the city needs your man more more yeah. than us at this current situation. Are you I, going to okay, <laughs> see, I see, see, you, you can deception or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Oh, no. Like, uh, I'm going to assist. I'm gonna assist. Twenty four, <laughs> baby. Twenty five. Okay. <laughs> Twenty five, actually. But yeah. Then he he listens over and then he, you are correct. You are correct. That's deception, no yes. persuasion. Deception, because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's... either way, it's the same yeah. modifier. Yeah. Either way, it's the same modifier. <laughs> oh yeah. So, yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. Commander uh, Lenival, uh, I we, we not I noticed that your men are not equipped with uh, ranged weapons. You know? Maybe we can ask the Forge Master, the Quartermaster, to uh, procure some ranged weapons for them. Uh, we are spending all our budget, the, not the military budget, the city budget, to secure the food. Uh, and, and now yeah. there's another shortage of another supply. So I think that's why my men are. Is, very much on our own in order oh. to keep it safe. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. Well, that's what the Duchess says. I disagree. I agree with you that we need more aromas and more recruitments. But the Duchess says that we have to give the people what they need first. That's a good have to be balanced. <sighs> but you know which what? what? Which is why she called in reinforcements. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, then. But anywho, um, we best we best be on our way. Good day. Yeah, go with God. Mm. One more thing, Commander. Yes. If possible, we like to have a audience with the Duchess. Well, after the incident, I mean, uh, you know, the incident, quote unquote. She is very selective on who to to see. That is understandable. But I will take note of this and relay your request to her. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, um, before we leave, I talked to him, telling him that there is a suspicious person in the Gifford Inn. Uh, so telling him to send some guards to keep an eye out on said person, just in case. And he says, there are more adventurers coming to town. I think they, they sell lots of work uh, being available now. I see. Well, All of them are, look suspicious to me. Eh, true. <laughs> but, um, j j I, this, I, hmm, let's just say I don't have a good feeling about this person. So, uh, Mm, um, that's my warn warning. All right, see you. Bye. All right, take one of that. Uh, another thing to keep track of. And yeah, yeah we head out. We go to Nibs. Let's go. Okay, so you went to Nibs. You're going yep. to here, right? Okay. We, wait, how oh. many? Like, how how much time we spent with Lenovo? We arrived five. I'm guessing we spent an hour, so that would be six. Oh god. Still early, still early. Yeah, and if you go too early, Nibs is still sleeping. Don't care, knock door. Uh, Nibs would be 55 minutes do, away. Shit. Do we need to, like, move back? Because the entrance for Nibs' place is in front, over the marketplace, or through the tunnel way? Uh, there, is, there, is a, there, there is a way in between the... Houses. This section, yeah, All between right. the, it can be accessed from the inside. But right. basically, still, it's going to be about fifty-five minutes to his place. Yes, it's about mm -hmm. that. Okay, so yeah, um, 
Uh, who as the commander for horses? That will like that's the thing. He has the supply. We're just gonna pretend. No, we're going to guard his uh, caravan and have the knights stay in the caravan to not draw attention until we head to Gideon's Hill. So basically, we are kind of ready. Yeah, we we have a plan. We have a plan. This plan is good. Off we go then. Yep. So you are going to Nip's place. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So you went out. It's still misty and it's still early, but it's almost the the sun is almost up by now. And you spend about an hour, the time needed to make your way to this place. By by that time, I think the the sun has uh, broken through the clouds. The morning dew <coughs> is starting to have uh, its effect on that. It's still foggy, right? Yeah, it's still foggy, but mm -hmm. uh, it has started dissipate to dissipate a bit. You notice it has. The, the sun has certain effect in order to dissipate some of the fog started to move to dissipate back towards the, the riverside all right <sighs> all right so right. yeah we, hit, we 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 uh we had to neeps who who wants to knock on door okay i'll just knock on it. Somebody open the door, yep. and <coughs> it is Nips. Hi, Nips. Oh. Good morning. Oh, top of the morning to you. Well, we have good news, and then I tell him the good news. What is good news? Yeah, uh, no, about his uh his wish coming true, where he wants to secure oil for the city. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh. good. Oh, yeah, corner, why I can corner the market? Oh, uh, no, I didn't mean that. Uh, no, I'm just we can procure enough supply to to help the town. Uh, 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 we are between friends here. <clears throat> you and I both know it, right? Bing, 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 bing. Of course, no, then, uh, um, no, of course. No, surely, no, surely we can um, split the profit, right? <clears throat> bing, 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 bing. I think we can come to a, a certain arrangement. Yes, and uh, yeah. So basically, I'll just relay everything to to, to Nipsa about the whole plan. Uh. Ooh, and okay, it took some time to, to read that Nip was was uh intensely listening to your entire plan. That is a very good, it's a very crafty plan. I like yeah. it. Yes. I'm game. But and also, and we also? have to yeah, we oh yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and also, you know, remember the our <clears throat> farm wheel plan that we talked about earlier? Uh, that that's also might be able to you might be able to get it into motion. We already have secured a plot of land. Have to enter into a contract for the distribution rights. Eh? Yes, yes. I'm sure you you can handle it. Oops. Of course. I think your reputation precedes you. I think you have uh, you have risen through the ranks and re repute for this town. <laughs> uh, and then I I, I immediately uh, <clears throat> give him a handshake. <laughs> I give him a smile. <laughs> Wait, what? It's it's just a, a several hours since since we last met. I think I met you at two. By now, it's about five hours later. I've heard lots of stories from about you from my contacts around town. Oh, well, you know. Surprisingly, they all are awake. Yeah. Well, no you know, you know why. what, Nips. You know what, Nips. Money don't grow on trees. That's why we have to do things fast. Don't you agree? Where, my, hey, my man. where have I heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> it it for me. Me. Yeah, when when I hear such a you know, what's such a good idea from you, I was like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Who's the man that we can trust? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh boy, <laughs> he's the man. And you no, know, Commander Lenny loves loves you. you know, he, he looks at you. It's like, oh man, Nips is pretty good. <laughs> Okay, yeah. uh, compared, compared to compared to who's who's the merchant guy? Again? Okay, Carl, I want you to roll. Okay, persuasion or deception, either one. <laughs> oh, come on, either yeah. one is the same. <laughs> hey, I didn't decide. I didn't deceive him. It's true. No. 
Roll. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. Roll, persuasion or deception. Okay. Fine. It depends on, on how you see it. Fine. Fine, <laughs> <Nat> 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know at least the DM knows his intent. He he, he tends to be steam. If he rolls persuasion, then it is a persuasion. I, I rolled persuasion because I got I got uh, proficiency. <laughs> Deception, I got proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know Kazuma. <laughs> Kazuma is. <laughs> oh, Kazuma is like that. <laughs> uh, he's a slide dog. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Well, yes, well, yes, yes. it seems to be Nips really likes uh, what he is hearing. And yeah, he man. Come back, you... come back to the trick. What's, what's the what's the guy's name? The the, the annoying the annoying guy in the tricky skill. What's his name? Huh? Um, uh, Glim Gromgo. Who 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 who? Let me see. Remember, he's, okay. He's he's now uh listening to to you and you alone. Who oh. who are you three? Who are you saying? Saying? I message to Carl saying, uh, Gromgo. Gromgo. Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't remember the name, but it's 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 the guy, the trader, the head of trader guilds, you know. It's oh, that that was, the right? head of the traders guild. Yeah. You mean Denaris? Yeah. <laughs> Denaris is annoying, Commander Daniver. You know. So I think this is a good opportunity for us to <clears throat> corner the market, especially more. Well, he is the guy who caused me my suffering, my well, not really suffering, my discomfort. <laughs> Oh. I yeah, have to do my trade in between towns because of him. Hmm. How 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 dare him. he? You know you know what? You know what, my friend? This is a think this is an opportunity to screw him over. He needs yes. the well. Let's check up the price a bit higher. You know, fuck him. <laughs> but but let's, let's 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 keep a good price for Commander Ladimir. Don't you don't you agree? He gave us this opportunity. You know, but if I sell it to Traders Guild, let's jack it up the price. After all, <clears throat> we do have the market. Ring ring. Well, one. Well, we can try to. Well, I think it's also my opportunity to to get into the good graces of the Duchess again. Ah, uh, uh, the seems to have spread rumors about me. Ah, uh, that caused my reputation to plummet. Yeah. Gee. Why I don't like him at all. Well. It's okay, my friend. We we brothers will help each other. I pet his back. Because of your high deception, this is <laughs> also a receive. I, I I put my head inside and say, "Are you boys done jerking off? Because we need a we need to go." <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Nips, time is of the essence. Do you have a uh, uh, com caravan ready with uh, with the uh, oil barrels? Well, I I have my my wagon. But I think usually, what do you want to get? Usually, you were saying about getting the the oil, right? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll need some barrels, you know, to store the oil. I interrupt. We don't need the barrel. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and seems to be seems to be agreeing with Shadow thing. Okay. Yeah, usually they come in barrels. What do you think? We have to to cut with our with our hands the, the oil all the way to here. Um, I'm uh, inside check. Or, or you or use water skin. Uh, inside check on Nibs to see if he thinks uh Carl is an idiot. Okay. <laughs> you, you have a vague sense that, yeah, now he's skeptical about Carl's ability. <laughs> To reason, <laughs> he believes him, but in terms of what he describes, seems like something is off. All right. <laughs> okay. So, I, I just, mm, okay. So, anywho, I, I'm just, I'm just looking, looking, mm, uh, waiting on time. Oh, so we, yeah, let's go. Let's go. The marshal is waiting. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so this would be. Uh, yeah. About 20 minutes, 15 Going minutes, to give or take. Yeah, yeah. a bit that. Going that. to the caravan grounds. Alright, you, so you all went to the caravan grounds in order to to prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> and Pips is there too. Yay! 
by this time around all the the townsfolk has been mud starting to gather near areas closer to the walls wall maria <laughs> Uh, yep. there'll, be, there'll be something suddenly Wah, there's a giant in the wall <laughs> oh no are there, are there flying men with two swords <laughs> <laughs> no so yeah um, went on to meet the marshal mm-hmm. and then um, who wants to talk to the marshal about neeps here like uh, should hey where's Chen 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 where are you he's there he's back okay so should Carl? Should I? Who? Well, yeah, Leona, you can you can do. Or me, Shadow. Shadow wants to wants to wants to do it. I just walk up uh, to the front and then, uh, Marshall, we are ready. So the Marshall's there. I think he seems to be finishing uh, <coughs> touching up. Uh, his people so looking at you and from under his mask under his hood his helmet his full face helmet <laughs> like that. Uh, you do not know the power of the dark side no 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 sorry. <laughs> wrong character <laughs> wrong story wrong story oh no <laughs> yeah. have you heard of the story of Dark Plague is the one <laughs> Oh no. Wrong story here. <laughs> uh, multiples of madness, but all. <laughs> yep. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> yes. You, you seem to be intent <coughs> to continue your, your plan. That is right. And here is Master Nips. He will be our so called merchant that we are seeing. will be protecting. Nips uh, went forth and extended his hand. Good day to you, and Nips. Okay, um, I don't <laughs> any part of you that is not covered in armor. Uh, okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> so the the walking suit of armor just bre- just breathes uh, deeply. <sighs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I am. They, they take off his mask. I am Camille. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Say so true! That was funny. <laughs> Jangan nanti Camille snorted something <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. Well, Matt. Um, so, uh, we want to. Go through with the plan, so you'll be guide the guide. That is true. Yeah, Nips. Nips is a wet is a merchant, a trusted merchant from the town. He he'll help us, uh, no, help us negotiate the deal, and it'll be good for our cover. Well, you have two of my men there. Uh, we need the guide because we are not familiar with this area much. Yes, that's true. Which is why we need a guide. So I think you have thought through your plan, mm-hmm. and you have my leave, man. Who shall among you will give the orders? Is the leader of the group? Hmm. I look to Shadow. Yeah, let's let Shadow do the thing. But you know, I feel like we need someone. Who is charismatic? Who who knows how to talk to people and who has a way of way with words? And I look at Carl. Yeah, that's right, Shadow. You are our best choice. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I vote for Carl. Uh, for Shadow, Shadow Shadow votes for Carl too. So there's two. Make up your mind. I don't have all day. Okay, that's a majority vote then. Carl, you're the leader. <laughs> Why it's me? God damn it. 
I start to have flashbacks of my previous party. I, I have uh, to. Why do so, me. Me. you say? So, you are the leader of this ragtag band of group. Yep. All right. So. Man. Let's see. The two nights. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen to the order of this person. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Support them, but never be never astray from the cause. <laughs> go, with the right. go with the go with the lights. I whispered to Shadow. But no, I message. I message Shadow and says like, "Oh, this is gonna be fun." <laughs> and then oh. uh, I reply that message. Yep, religious. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Woo. Oh god damn it <laughs> Come Assuming on. that Nitz is not a man of religion mm. So yeah, it would be fun with the ex call and then the Chen Chen god and then mm. this guy punya believe yep. Oh man, <laughs> I, I don't think this guy is under tier Oh man, who is this guy? No, uh, this guy is under... Oh man, I forgot the tender. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is all the tender. This is going to be fun. <laughs> this is how we got into the mess the first place, you know. We went I to the temple mm-hmm. mm-hmm. to ask for help. Mm-hmm. Uh, it became worse. <laughs> uh, Shadow, can you roll a perception? Alright, sure. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 11. Okay. Uh, out the corner of your eyes, you. You saw Nips as if shifting, like rolling his eyes. <laughs> ba- just barely. Mm. <laughs> but okay. you, um... yeah, you, you have a sense of, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Alright, um, with that, uh, I'm gonna let Carl decide. I'm just gonna go to the caravan, make sure everything's ready, see what needs to be tightened and whatnot. Yeah, so um, I'm guessing this yeah. is the Nips, yeah, this is Nips caravan. Yeah. Lead the way to your wagon. Yeah, wh- wh- where is it? You uh, can pick any of, of this wagon. Okay. okay. Oh, and it's covered. Oh, nice. So this is his wagon, right? I think it's the, the refugee's wagon. It's nah, I mean, for, for, for simplicity's sake, this is Nips wagon lah. Okay. Because for if we really really want to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for simplicity six, six, yes, this is his wagon. Uh, it has horses. Uh, night goes in, and let's go. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, and I ask <coughs> nights to I tell the nights of the plan. You know, we, you guys are going to be inside, or you know, getting ready. Uh, we are going to pose as merchants uh, as we enter the place. Uh. And the nights is just say, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah. usually the the guards. Uh, we'll be walking beside the wagon. We will be hired hands for Neeb's caravan. Uh, you're too well armed to be as uh, to be dressed or disguised as normal mercenaries. So, yeah, th- that's uh, that's on us. Mm, yes, and, and, I... uh, and and you guys uh, should have uh, you know, a no hood just to cover uh, cover yourself up just in case. All right, I'll be off then. The, the marshal, yes, yes, I'll be off. All right, All right. take care, man. Be safe. Go with light. Oh uh, no, I wanted to talk to him. But okay, bye bye. <laughs> right, so, let's go. All right, so so the man will be inside the caravan. Yep. Okay, so yay, let's head off. Um, Gillian Hills. Mm-hmm. Either Gillian Hill or what's that? Big map. Big big map. Uh, Chrome's Hole. Chrome's Hole is what? It? Uh, anything? Nothing. We haven't been there. We what? only had been to Liam's and the the farmstead. We yeah. like right top of it. Anything about? Chrome's hole that we should take note of because I did remember saying oh, I did remember something about it. It's, it's, a, it's a haunted place, right? Oh, yeah. oh it's a damn small. 
that is yeah and then towards the east eastward towards the for uh, the forest problems so this <laughs> this was listening to you as you guys make your way southwards uh, towards it well you know from school is usually the where the oil are refined and sometimes uh, they supply the, the, the refined oil for trade but it's usually where the cousins of the the duke and duchess live mm-hmm. just so that you know oh mm-hmm. yeah. are the are the cousins close to the duchess huh. um why do you why do you ask he uh, said the ask <laughs> just curious because you you seem to know a lot about their backstory oh where do i begin huh. kind of hard to to not well anyway i like to go see also but okay sure why not well lot Olen is the cousin of the Daggerford uh, dukes and duchess <coughs> Well, they are they are always thinking that they are better than the the Daggerfords because they seem to be the next in line to the throne. Mm. Uh, but such is the way. Well, you know the highborn royalty; they have their own uh, power struggle, structure, political will, uh, political struggles. Uh, mm. Well, it's a long way. It's a long trip, also. But okay, I'll just. Tell what what you want about. Do about. do the crumbs have names? Yeah, I just mentioned it's a Lord Olan Bouvelard. That's O R L A L A N D. Orland. Orland. Alright. Orland. Bouvelard. No, no, no. It's not Bulina. It's a Bouvelard. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it sounds like bulimia. Some slight like like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So wait, that's Doesn't sound good. Lord Orlat Bolivia, 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 Bolivia. Yes, sounds French to me. I don't know what French is, but sounds French. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the word French. I don't know why. French fries. Uh, and the wife, the 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 lady of the house is the mistress. Lady Lilara? Lila, Lilara. 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 Lilara yeah, Boulevard. <laughs> no, yeah, I think she her maiden name is something else. She married into the family. Alright. Yep, got them down. So you were saying yeah. Um, y- you were saying about uh, the Boulevards. Uh, I just say the names. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, uh, you say that they were next in line t- to be in charge of Daggerfords. You don't know this? No, I mean, uh, we we aren't local, so we don't really uh, know much about this. Well, you've been here for almost two months now. I think you. I thought you have picked up on on this this kind of gossip. Uh, no. Uh, Shad- Shadow, what are you rolling perception for? Uh, just looking out for surrounding, keeping an eye out. Ah, okay. Okay. The, the, okay. Uh, okay. What do you want to know more about this Bouvelards? So you're saying that with uh, the the Bouvelards and Daggerfords are not on good terms so and also they are next in line right yes hmm your question be no just repeating what you said just making sure so have they been antagonistic towards the daggerfords well, openly that's... Or... That's a that's a strong word, <coughs> but not strong enough. <laughs> I think 
Well, the, all the people know that the Bobolats hated the Daggerforts. Ooh. It has been anonymous. There's been anonymity for, for I think, for several generations now. Ooh. Since the Bobolats lost their claim to the title. Mm. Hmm. But such is the way in which they still have to support well family is being family but who would call it uh, a far-fetched theory that if there's any chance for them to take over eh, they will in an instant I mean with the current situation that is going on in the Gafford it seems like they might be taking over soon unless something stops the troubles in Daggerford. Uh, yeah, I'm. I didn't. I I'm prevented from doing lots of business <coughs> so in in Daggerford. Uh, damn that the Dan- Dan- uh, I would curse him if his last name is Targaryen, but <laughs> luckily he's not. <laughs> Lol. Fire resistance. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Such is the way. What to do? I try my best to eke out a living here and there. Mm, trying to, way. yeah. I, but I do have my contacts in the the Daggerford town and here and there. All right. So, oh, um, we. Uh, yeah, after conversation, we keep quiet for a bit, or whoever wants to talk, talk, and we, we just keep guard off the caravan like normal. Okay, you you guarded the caravan like like usual, and you had a bit of conversation, small talk. Um, Shadow is keeping an eye out of things in case something untoward happened. Okay, and. So far, you spent some time uh, looking out for things, potential uh, ambush sites, or anything that seems to be out of the norm. And so far, uh, nothing seems to be jumping out yet to antagonize any of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But you know, uh, whatever the thing that you, the werewolf, okay, for Carl, you know, it has been several hours has passed since you last kept track. But the the intent and also the idea of going to Gillian's Hill is quite strong, as you sense. Yes, yes, yes. How many hours have we? How how many hours is it? Have after we set uh for travel. Well, you right now has you have spent about five hours. Yeah, we Six hours. Should, it shouldn't be too long because we went from Liam's Hill to Daggerford in one day. Okay. Is it? If I'm not mistaken. We went. Yeah, no, from... it's about two days. You spent. Uh, yeah, it's about one and a half days. One and a half days. Yeah, yeah. So, so maybe it's about uh, because you guys are traveling by foot, and this is also by caravan. So it's not well. It's not far. Well, it's not uh far to say that there are things that seems to be well. Your your journey will take some time. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to expedite it, yeah, it's it's better if you just like you know take it slow and steady. Just right. like how a normal caravan would, right? Yeah, so you don't want to suddenly gallop. <laughs> no, <laughs> or something. I know oh, that would be weird. <laughs> uh, exactly. I ask Nibs. So Nibs, how is the Ruffians in Gillian's Hill. Okay. What do you mean, ruffians? 
you know the see the underbelly of Killens Hill, um, robbers, thieves, and whatnot. Oh, you mean those? Um, those slots, yes. Oh, those slots. Okay, just checking to see if we're talking about the same lots. <laughs> Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. What do you want to know? Well, are they? How is that place? And uh, do they have a strong presence over there? Well, uh, we don't. Well, one thing that we cannot. There are three things that we cannot say out loud. In Daggerford. Well, we don't talk so much about politics. Mm-hmm. We don't talk so much about religion. Mm-hmm. And we don't talk about Bruno. Uh, Bruno, this is Bruno. <laughs> oh no, the GM has been ready for this. No. Bruno Mars? Ah, no, <laughs> we don't talk about <laughs> Bruno. No, no, no. And no. suddenly Nips went into a jingle. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. <laughs> Come. So. Um, how is it? Well, uh, help me restore my reputation back in the city, and I think I can. Well, if you are interested, you there may be some context that can be made. Hmm, I see. Interesting. As for now, um, I just want to know about Gillian School because. Uh, you do know our original plan, so I'm just gonna. Ma- I just want to make sure that everybody's safe, and we're not walking into a quote-unquote trap. Okay. Uh, what do you want? What do you trying, know? Trying to recollect if I have heard of Bruno or not. Since <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, you. S- uh, you, you, is it Bruno? <laughs> mm. Are you rolling for history? History of what? Yeah, yeah, trying to recollect if I heard of Bruno or not. Yeah, <laughs> thinking of is it Bruno or Bruno Mars or... I uh, have no idea. <laughs> uh, I'll share with you that on, on WhatsApp later. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so Nips was telling you about the okay. He can make. He has to. He needs to re- repair his reputation back in the city, so that I think he can. He really wants to be in business back in the city, rather uh, than being a traveling merchant. Mm-hmm. And I think if uh, we can do something about that, uh, then we can come to an agreement or arrangement. Mm. Sure. Yeah, Nips. What what actually happened back then? What's what's <sighs> you and that that bastard? <laughs> he just he stained my reputation as an honest trader. I think he wants to muscle into my business. I used to have a shop in town. Oh my! Oh yeah. So. What, uh, Right now, I think it's about several hours, about six or seven hours. Mm-hmm. Distance? So, distance uh, is in days. Well, actually, from Daggerport to Gillian's Hill is about a day. Mm-hmm. So, you are less than halfway there. Slightly <laughs> one third. All right. I tried to pick up the Arkin signature from the werewolf that I sent before. I see. And you Thank try you. to, you try to set. Okay, not bad. Your your tracking is quite keen, and you can almost sense the the track from the. Well, the snow made it a bit easy, because mm-hmm. the werewolf seems to be number one is bleeding, and you can sense. <laughs> The, the footprints that seems to be emanating in, in red, something like the witch's sense. <laughs> and there are three. <laughs> oh. but, but as you go about tracking the 
the the tracks you cannot resist the urge to see winds howling <laughs> just like rain <laughs> is it going to rain winds howling, winds howling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> low survival no, it's not raining. You just feel like saying that. Yeah, yeah. True. Uh, your your uh, uh, survival uh, skills cut. Skill, skill sucks. <laughs> what is, is it going to rain? Really, man? Man. <laughs> so, okay. so uh, about some time here yeah, there. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oof. Oof. The hundred. What random occurrence might happen? Oh no, bandits! <laughs> oh yep, bandits! Jeng 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 jeng. Oh man! <clears throat> the D one hundred table for sh- for crap to happen. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> it cannot be that bad. Uh, don't <laughs> see us. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the DM have then added our token. Also, map is not there yet on my end. There we go. Who died? Wait, what the fuck? Aww. Hmm. Uh, it's, a, it's a familiar, familiar play. Hmm, macam aku pernah tengok. <laughs> oh no. You came about uh, another caravan that seems to be abandoned by the roadside. Uh, you, some of the horses seems to be disembowel mm-hmm. and you can also see bodies by the roadside i'm going to do a perception check i tell i, I tell the guards inside the caravan to you know yeah be on alert 17 on alert. what do i see okay. you okay you see it was thrown about uh some of the the wheel has been taken off <coughs> the the caravan that was abandoned. Uh, one is by on its side. It seems to be like a, a an attack. Is the attack coordinated or random? From you, okay. Uh, for Chen, you manage to see that it seems like. It is quite a coordinated attack. As you can see, the the wheels have been uh, uh, thrown off. Uh, there are traces of massacre going about. Ooh. Trying to see if there's any wheels uh, traces on the wagons or not. Uh, uh, but yeah, it seems that I cannot see anything. What Chen can see? What does Chen see? Does Chen see scratches on the wagon? Claw marks? I go, I, I go and check the body. Okay. Um, the body seems to be mutilated by weapons. Oh, bandit. Okay. I uh, come back to the party. And okay. I let them know that there's more bodies up ahead, and there's a third caravan that's been toppled over. I just copied that thing. Oh, just map me. Is this the same map as before? Is this is winter? Oh, so uh, it's different. Different. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is winter. <laughs> uh, shall we check it out? Carl, what are you doing? Uh, I'll oh, check the... if this box okay. is empty or not. All right, Carl. Can you roll perception? Oh man, yeah, that's not good. I have, I have perception sucks. <clears throat> yep, sucks. 
Okay. You, well, you you saw nothing even though you you went wherever you are. Uh, can the three of you also roll perception? That's a guess. Okay. Other than how? Seventeen. Net twenty. <laughs> oh wow. All right. So you do notice uh something is off. Oh, got Chen. And Chen and I went. <laughs> Damn, you guys are <laughs> perceptive. But technically, very Chen is very perceptive. Yes, you you notice the blood is kind of still fresh. It has not sort of uh, dried yet. It's also in the snow. Uh, it's still moist, and you can sense winds blowing, <laughs> <laughs> and you can almost sense okay the smell of blood and the wind carrying the smell may attract something oh god damn it this is part of the plan um should i should have messaged to neeps telling them or telling him to uh, be wary and tell the guards to get uh, no tell the knights to be at the ready so do you do that Yes, I do that. Okay, you do that. So you went there, and I... as you you run towards the back of the cat or your caravan. Hmm? Uh, no, I don't. I just shoot a message. Oh, okay. shoot message, message can trip. Okay, message can trip. Caravan. Oh, Camille appears. Hello. Oh. Wait, what? Camille appears. Wait, what? Camille appears with a flaming sword. Oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I light up a touch and throw toward the dead body. But we're not in range of the miss. No. The stench of blood. Yeah. Ah, yes. But isn't that going to make the blood smells even intense, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what you. Okay, from Chen and Leona's perception, can almost uh, sound. From far away, crawling over. Uh, could be no more wolves. Shoot. And soon. Yes. <laughs> soon. <Some of> them <laughs> came into the came into your view as you saw it. Can't see shit. Can't see anything though. Nothing to report, Captain. Just a burning body right in front of me. Burning body? Yeah, I, I light that body on fire. Okay. Do you, you need my help? I can create a bonfire. <laughs> nah, I already touched it. <laughs> and pretty soon. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh. Wolf seems to be quite hungry looking. Ah, oh, come on. It's as if you are trying to make barbecue out of their meals. Uh, well, we... mm. Have they noticed us? Yes. They have, have they noticed me? Uh, no. I'm well, they to... noticed the group. I'm going to step back a bit. For anything, mirror image. Okay. Uh, you will have your reaction time there, okay? Mirror image. I will... F- I guess a fire address plus. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, wait. What? Prepare. On the wolves, man? Those are wolves. Yeah, but... We could use them. What? You want to use them? Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, see. <laughs> you're forgetting what Chen Chen said in the very beginning. Yeah, <laughs> He still has the cheese. <laughs> the very smelly cheese. No, so, see, see, here's the thing. He wants a party of wear some things. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Yep, I duplicate myself. Kagebushi <clears> Dajitsu. <throat> yeah, I'm just gonna step back. I'm gonna hide behind this wagon. Okay. Okay, that is your. Reaction. Can I come out of the wagon? 
<laughs> oh, you need to roll for <laughs> nah. All right. So action. Do this. All right. Don't forget to click on your tokens and roll for initiative. Oh boy. Oh, channel to be teach up animals and plant. Bastard lah. Uh, starting at level Not two. Not with that. You... I can do this yeah. as well. Okay, give us a second. All right. Oh okay. no, uh, no! I'm just gonna read this for the audience at home. Starting at level two, you can use your channel divinity to charm animals and plant. As an action, you present your holy symbol and evoke the name of your deity. Each beast or plant creature that can see, sorry, that can see you within thirty feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its saving throw. It's charmed by you for one minute, or until it takes damage. We, while it's charmed by you, it's friendly to you and others creature you designate. And then on top of that, speak with animals. Ah, you gain the ability. Okay, yeah, that, that one's on. Yes, combo. All right. So let's do this. Um, initiative. 